Good day students, welcome to the basic science class. We are going to, we've talked about definition of living things. We've talked about the characteristics of living things and today we're going to stop or end our class on difference between the plants and animals. So, the plants and animals have the features, characteristics. And the characteristics are Mr. Niger, I'm sure you still remember. Mr. Niger Cat. Let's revise together. M for movement. Yes. R for reproduction. N for nutrition. I for irritability, that's sensitivity. G for growth. E for excretion. R for respiration. C for competition. A for adaptation. And D for death. So we're going to pick some of these different, some of these features, and we're going to see how they differ, how the plants differ from the animals in each of these features. So for example, movement. Movement in plants, as you know, that is slow, while in animal, movement is fast. The reason is that in plants, they, the plants are always rooted into the soil, so they, they, they do not move from one place to another. So reproduction now. Of reproduction, the plants reproduce using the flower, using the flower while the animals, for example, the human beings, reproduce using the what the testes, these are the two balls, and the ovaries. The ovaries we have the two testes in, in male, and we have two ovaries in female. Nutrition is by the process of photosynthesis, that is, the plants feed using the sunlight energy. The plants feed using sunlight energy, while the animals feed depending on the plants through the process of heterotrophism. So the fourth feature is in terms of irritability, how they are sensitive. The plants are sensitive as animals are also sensitive, but the irritability in plant is slow, while in animal it is fast. So let's talk about the growth. Growth in plants is both at the top or at the tip, called the apical growth, and it's also within the, the plant, called the intercalary growth. Why in animal, growth is always within, that is intercalary. So let's pick just two or more features. So we've talked about the movement, reproduction, nutrition, irritability, growth. Let's talk about excretion. So, excretion. You can just say that excretion is well developed in animal and it's less developed in, in plants. So, excretion, or you say excretory system, excretion is less developed, less developed in plants, while it is excretion, excretion, is well de developed. So I'm going to pick the last feature here. This is number six. Then we have number number seven. So we have respiration. We have respiration. The plants generally respire using the structure. There are holes within the leaf called the stomata. So the plants respire using using the the stoma the stomata so let's say for example we have a leaf as i told you some time ago there's a leaf okay the gases are going to come into the leaf or leave the leaf through the holes through the holes okay so the holes in the plant they are called the they are called the stomata. So how do the animals respire? The animals also respire with a lot of structures. But the major structures, for example, in, in, in the human being, we use the lungs to respire. We use the lungs to respire. So you can say human being, for example, the animals use the lungs to respire. Okay? Animals respire by the lungs okay a lot of structures a lot of structures the insects respire with what with spiracles 
the insect respire with spire. So we have a lot of structures they use to what? To, to respire. So I'm going to stop here and we are going to start with the matter, the next class. Thank you very much. Goodbye.